Hey guys, I'm Sean from SRK Cycles, and we have the privilege of, well I bought it, we have a Tilting Motor Works Harley Davidson Heritage Softail, and this is a top of the line package, and I can't wait to tell you guys all about it. So a motorcycle is classified legally as two or three wheels. It's always been that way, you know, from sidecars and stuff like that. So two wheels on the front is no big deal. And when it, when it comes to regulations of it, as long as they don't cut the frame, which they don't on these kits, you can throw this thing on there and it's just, it's legal to drive. You don't have to get any extra inspections or anything like that. Now, Tilting Motorworks is a company uh, from, I don't know where they're from, somewhere colder than, than where I'm at. And the owner of it, he, he was trying to figure out where, when, when he's driving his car, he's able to take these back row corners, you know, pretty fast. And you can have a little bit of slip on the front end, have a little slip, but a, bit, a little bit of slip on the back end and still go through the corner. That's not the case with a motorcycle. With a motorcycle, when you're really hitting it hard, you need perfect traction on the front end. You can have a little bit of slip on the back end. And this was kind of the solution. This thing was not made for geriatrics and older people. Although it's not, it's great for that. This was made for performance and to perform on real world situations and not just, you know, perfect track conditions, which where a super sport is made for. So the idea is it's got double the contact patch and you can take a little bit of slip on the front end, not drop your bike, and perform even better. And this thing will get as low as you know a normal bike wheel, and you can even drag the, uh, drag the floorboards on it. So historically, they've been putting three wheels on motorcycles for a long time, whether it's a sidecar, which are, you're really fighting those things when it comes to, like, they work and they're stable, but they're not, they don't steer very well. And that was kind of the big thing. When you have two wheels on the back for like, like, like the Tri-Glide or, uh, or the Honda conversion kits, it's nice and it's stable, but it still changes the way you handle the bike. You don't get to lean, and that's the best part about riding. When they do, when Can-Am does it, it feels more like a snowmobile, where you're also, when, when you turn right, you, you have to forcibly lean right because the bike wants to push you this way because it's just so, it's just so flat. Now, Piaggio did something similar to this on a small scale with the MP3, and then uh, Yamaha Nikon did something with this, and we'll actually compare this in a little bit. The goal of this was to put three wheels on the front, have that extra stability, but then have the extra traction, but have it feel just like a normal motorcycle. Now, in a couple minutes, we're gonna jump out and actually test, see, if it, see what it feels like. Now, when you start diving in, actually looking at the kit, I mean, it is a really, really nice, high quality finish on everything, you know, billet aluminum parts, and it just, it looks, it looks great. Giant, huge brake rotors, which is gonna give you much better stopping power than a normal stock. Or, you know, Harley Davidson. You also have double the contact patch. This kind of reminds me of like the, uh, the giant rotors that they had on like the Buell bikes. You know, they're almost as big as the wheel. Now we happen to have a Yamaha Nikon here. Let's go check it out, do a little bit of comparison. Now here's the Yamaha Nike, and you, you, you can see that they accomplished something similar, but they did it in completely different ways. And they really didn't accomplish anything that similar. Both bikes have three wheels. That's kind of where the similarities really stay. You see the, the Nikon, the wheels are much closer together, and the suspension seems much more like a, uh, like a normal motorcycle where you have the, the big forks on the side. The, uh, the Tilton Motorworks does not have that. The Nikon also sits up significantly higher because of the way they did the suspension. The Tilton Motorworks sits fairly normal, like, like you know, the way a Harley Davidson should. Tilton Motorworks sits about here. Now this bike has no benefits if you couldn't put your leg down or if you had a leg injury or if the bike was getting too heavy because this bike will just fall over on you, like 100%. The Tilting Motor Works, depending on what package you get, that's the top of line package. It's got a button up here that you can press that actually levels out the bike. So once you get to slower speeds, and I, I gotta try this out, but once you get to slower speeds, uh, if, if that button's on, it locks up and it, it stays straight. So you can actually ride the bike and never put your feet down. Unlike, unlike this thing, but this thing's gonna drop. Um, both bikes do feel heavier than, than a normal motorcycle. Now when you're riding this, this feels just like a normal bike. It's a blast to drive. Let's go see what that one feels like. I'm excited to ride this thing. So I, I, apparently if I have this on, I get the impression that it'll turn, it'll, I can ride it like this. And then once I get going fast enough, it'll turn off and then it'll let me lean. Oh, okay, all right, that's what happened. That's exactly what happened. And then let me slow down again. And then it leans back up, that's pretty cool.
This thing's wild, man. So a pair, so the guy that the, the guy that owns the company, um, Tilting Motorworks, he actually holds the title or the um, he's got he has the record. He holds the record for having the fastest trike on the road. Now that's something I realized when I was driving the Nikon is that I didn't feel that comfortable at, 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 at very high speeds, like let's say highway plus speeds, you know, like track stuff. Um, I just didn't, it didn't feel that stable on the front end. But then you, oh, it's doing that thing, all right. I was not used to that. All right, there we go. I didn't know, I, I forgot that was on. So now but with this wider front end, it should feel a whole lot more stable when you're going highway speeds. And apparently, he was able to take his tilting motor works out uh, Yamaha VMAX, I believe it was a first gen Yamaha VMAX, and he had the top speed record as like, at like 130 something miles an hour. Which honestly, when I hear numbers like that, I start thinking like, maybe, uh, maybe I can beat that. Maybe I can beat that. All right, guys, through the words of wisdom, uh, blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Matthew 5, 7. It's a great time. It's a great time to be, uh, to be merciful. All right, so what's interesting is they still, you're still able, you still counter steer with this motorcycle. So it does steer the same way, although it does feel different. Um, the Nikon felt, the Nikon felt just like a motorcycle did. Um, this, this is similar, but it, but it, but it's not exactly like a motorcycle. It's, it, like, this might take you driving it for an hour or taking a little, you know, going out for a day to really get used to how it actually feels. But already, even after riding it for three minutes I still feel I feel correct I, I feel much more comfortable on it a bike like this is also gonna be a real showstopper I've only ever seen one of them I mean I'm in the industry I see thousands of motorcycles every month I've only ever seen one of these bikes I'm actually pretty surprised that we were able to get our hands on one this might be one of the only used tilting motorworks motorcycle on the market and if you look at the price we're selling it for, honestly, it's almost for the, it's almost the price of the kit. I mean, it's a really good deal. Uh, it's on the website, srkcycles.com. So what this thing was really made for, with stuff like I'm about to show you, is having that confidence in turns, having that confidence in turns and in less than perfect road conditions and less than perfect weather. Now I'm still getting used to this thing. So I'm not gonna say I've got that great a confidence in it. Um, but this really does give you the best of both worlds where, where a, a Harley trike or a K&M, now, now listen, these, those, those bikes they handle pretty well. can -Ams, you can really take them in corners. They're very sophisticated bikes, but they don't feel like a motorcycle because you're missing out on that lean and the counter steer. And there's, it's kind of a, it feels very awkward and kind of fighting against you. This has that. So this is extremely unique. So you got that aspect of it, but on the same side, it's not, you can set it up where it's not gonna fall over on you. So let's say you've got a bum leg. Let's say you're, let's say a, a big bike is just is, is a little too heavy for you. You know what I mean? And then you got your girl in the back, and then you got luggage. The, a bike like this really does open up a lot of doors and a lot of opportunities for you to stay on the road, to keep on leaning, to keep on riding, to keep on having a great time, and to keep on riding a big bike. This opens up a market that nothing else currently does right now. Now we're gonna do zero to sixty. I 
I kind of held back, but I got there eventually. Now this feels much, this feels more stable. Um, it feels great on the highway. Now unlike a, uh, unlike a, si a bike with a sidecar, um, with that you're constantly fighting it. You're constantly fighting the steering. Whether you've got, you, whether it's, you know, sidecars were kind of adjusted so that they're adjusted for someone to be on the side, to be in the side. You know, a 150 pound person or something like that. So best case scenario, you have someone in there and the thing might track kind of straight. But even then, you still gotta fight the, the fight the corners. This, you don't have to do that. You just kind of lean like you normally would. Now there is, I feel, I, I kind of feel a little bit of a lag just because I, I'm not used to it. But it, it does feel pretty good. Now when you have a sidecar and no one's in it, nonstop, you're fighting the weight because the suspension's adjusted for that person to be completely next to you, which motorcycles were never really made for that. Now this is not a completely novel idea. They actually had sidecars back, you know, three-wheel motorcycles back in the days that would tilt and the sidecar would tilt with you. But this is actually the first person to actually do it and get it in market and actually, you know, get it out on the streets that people are buying it. It's very impressive. He, uh, the guy who did this was an engineer. I think his name was Bob. I don't know. He actually reached out to us. Um, pr pretty cool guy. I'm impressed with the, with the overall quality of this machine. You know, a lot of times you see something like this and they cheap out on something because they, it gets very expensive. I mean, let's say you're selling 20, 30, 40, 100 a year. You don't have the economies of scale to mass produce things at the highest quality at, at, a, at, a, in a, at a good price. Somehow they figured out a way that they're not holding back on the quality. You know what I mean? This looks like a, uh, you know, a, a big manufacturer produced this thing. A lot of work and time goes into something like this. Even as simple as getting a company to make, to make fenders for you. You see, driving on road like this, it's dusty, it's dirty, construction's always out here, the dump trucks are dumping stuff all over the place, but you got full confidence. Wash out right there. You got full confidence in your motorcycle when you're taking these corners. If your back end kicks out, hey, that's normal, not a big deal. But when your front end slides, you're gonna be planted. Just after riding this thing for like less than 10 minutes, I feel it feels it feels normal it feels completely comfortable for me and i'm actually kind of uh i'm really enjoying this bike i want to take this thing out and really really put it through its paces take it through some things through some corners all right guys and that wraps it up this is one of the coolest most unique motorcycles i've ever test drive and we get the privilege of selling it at our at our dealership srk cycles we ship bikes all over the country uh we do have a walk around video for this bike and remember it's not what you're riding but where are you going? We'll see you guys later. Watch this, it's, it's gonna stop. No, I don't put my feet down. I'm, <laughs> oh man, that, that still kind of scares me a little bit. Cause it, look, you can lean it over, but it just puts it, it puts you back up. And that's, uh, it takes a little while getting, you know, trusting the bike for it.